Hello everyone, welcome back aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independence Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg and today we'll be exploring the control room. The control room is located amidships. It contains equipment for steering, diving, servicing, and other submerged operations. There are several noteworthy stations within this compartment and we'll be taking a closer look at them today. This is the auxiliary helm. Under normal operations, Bakuna is steered from the conning tower via her main helm. The auxiliary helm is a redundant station that exists just in case the conning tower floods or becomes compromised in some way as to render it inoperable. Like the main helm, the auxiliary helm controls the rudder. This station also has a rudder angle indicator, a set of motor order telegraphs for communicating the speed of the boat to the electricians back in the maneuvering room, as well as a gyro compass repeater. All of these are found up in the conning tower by the main helm and are duplicated down here. These wheels control Bakuna's dive planes. Bakuna has two sets of dive planes, one at the bow, called bow planes, and one at the stern, called stern planes. Together, her bow planes and stern planes control the angle of the boat as she dives or surfaces. Each wheel would have been manned by a single sailor, and together, they would keep the boat steady. To do this, they use what's called an inclometer. An inclometer measures the angle of the boat using an air bubble trapped in liquid. Think of a carpenter's level and you'll get the idea. They also have a series of depth gauges. Two depth gauges are shallow, measuring down to about 150 feet. The third depth gauge is for deep water. It measures down to about 1,000 feet. Bakuna could operate at depths of around 400 feet. Her crush depth is listed at 600 feet. For reference, the Hilton Hotel across the street from us is about 250 feet tall. Just forward of the dive planes is the hydraulic manifold, commonly referred to by the crew as the Christmas tree because the lights on the display are red and green. Each set of lights corresponds to a hull opening somewhere along the length of the boat. If that light is green, that particular opening is closed. If it is red, it means it is open. The left side of the display corresponds primarily to ballast tanks and flood ports, while the right side of the display corresponds to hatches and inboard valves. When the submarine dives, you want the interior side to be lit entirely green, because if one light is red, that means something somewhere is flooding, and that's no good for anybody down here. On the starboard side of the compartment is our compressed air manifold. The importance of compressed air on a submarine cannot be overstated. It is used in virtually every process in the diving and servicing procedure, as well as other key aspects of submarine operation. The hydraulic system we just talked about functions because of the air pressure maintained in the air accumulator flask. Torpedoes are fired out of their tubes via compressed air, and even our engines are started with impulses of compressed air. Perhaps most notably, Compressed air is used to blow our ballast tanks clear of water when the sub wants to come to the surface. So as you can see, without compressed air, Bakuna simply would not be able to function properly. This concludes our tour of Bakuna's control room. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, maybe share it so your friends can see it, then drop down into the comment section and leave us suggestions on videos you'd like us to do in the future. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.